Hello guys, it's me, Hunter Gunslinger here, back with a brand new video with Assassin's Creed Origins. In today's video, we're going to be discussing about the new combat system that's going to be featured in the Origins of ACs, and then kind of like a new combat system into the franchise. Now, if you guys do like these type of videos, always much appreciated if you leave a like on this video, and that's always much appreciated, and I will continue to make more videos and more content related to other games that are coming out this year. Now, Assassin's Creed Origins is going to get released on October 27th on all consoles, PS4, PC, and Xbox One. So if you're an Amazon Prime holder, you can get 20% off in any pre-order game that you pre-order this year. So look into that. That's a really good aspect. I'm not sponsored by them. It's just a quick reminder. It, it does save you around this gaming season because there's a lot of games coming out. But we're just in later discussion. Here we're talking about Assassin's Creed Origin, the new combat system. Now, the new combat system is going to be fully re redesigned around weapons hitbox and positioning rather than timing animation like how it was in the previous ACs. Now, in the previous ACs, a lot of people say that the animation style and the combat system was completely frustrating for them you know, over the other ACs franchise. But with an ACs Origins, it's going to be a little bit more different. Assassin's Creed Origins is going to be having a new redesign uh, type of combat system that's more fitting for everybody and a little bit more, I guess, encounter more combat setting than it was in the previous ACs. It says it's giving you far more control over every combat encounter. Since your, every, since your enemies have the same new freedom, it means you have to reconsider the positioning and timing of your attacks more than ever before. So judging by the game developers of, you know, some of their quotations that they said, and especially from IGN's video, I'm going to quote on here, we've gone to the hitbox system. If you press the attack, you're going to swing your weapon if there's something there. And it's going to get hit since it's going to, get, it's going to take a lot of damage. If there's nothing there, you're swinging the air and maybe open yourself up. Silent the range of your weapon, the speed of your weapon, the range of your enemies, and the equipment, all of that matters. So this time around, this new combat system, they want you to kind of focus on every aspect when you're doing some fighting skills and some combat skills. Now, of course, in previous ACs, you're going to have more like a basic heavy attacks, parry attacks type of setting. So go from there. And of course, of course, the little quiet grenades type of throw when, you know, high in disguise, if you want to hide from your enemies or coming back too. Um, the, the good aspect about this is, Having a new combat system this time around is is more fitting. Uh, Assassin's Creed, well, Ubisoft took a year off of Assassin's Creed because everybody knows that every year there's always a new Assassin's Creed game. And I guess uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate was a turning point for them. I guess everybody they really favored that game a lot. I enjoy the game, but it wasn't really their best Assassin's Creed. I think one of my favorites is 1, 2, and 3. And Black Flag, that's one of my favorites. Uh, I want to say 1, 2, and Black Flag, if I want to put it as sense. Assassin's Creed Syndicate had a really good DLC. I did like the Jack the Ripper DLC. I thought that was a really interesting DLC. But it took a year off from, you know, revamping everything. And judging by what he said in the video, in the video he, um, they, they were planning this whole Assassin's Creed origin when they were making Black Flag. So they kind of had this whole aspect of this game kind of set it. And a lot of people are probably wondering why they didn't implicate it in 2015. I don't know, maybe something came up or they want to take the time or Dory had Syndicate kind of already going ahead. But judging what he's saying in the video, he said that Assassin's Creed Origin was already being kind of developed when they were in development of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which is pretty interesting. So it kind of took like a year off, kind of like implicate everything and probably knew about next gen or something we don't know what you know developers think during that time why they didn't release certain games but it's kind of interesting that you know they were trying to focus on this game along with the other game that they already finished and thinking like this might be a turning point assassin's creed syndicate in my eyes was an okay game i give it a rating of seven it was it was okay but the combat system was just the was the problem in most Assassin's Creed games that I played so far. And a lot of people who didn't say in the comment section in most videos I watched said that yeah, the combat system wasn't the best system ever. And at the point it was completely frustrating at some point. So with this new combat system, you have your basic attacks where you know just take out your basic enemy and point in that sense. And then you have like your heavy attacks, more like more like boss fightings, because 
look, judging by the video and judging by some of the picture friends that we see, you're going to be going against a lot more enemies this time around. I mean, you got a lot of enemies uh, in Assassin's Creed, but these enemies are going to be a little bit different than the other enemies that we went against because we're in Asian Egypt. Egypt. We're in a time period where, you know, shields and a lot of, you know, damaging weapons during that time, you know, were... I mean, these weapons took your arm off, your head off during these time period. So this this combat system is going to be a little bit different than the other Assassin's Creed. I mean, you got shield, you got heavy armor, gladiators going to go against. And you got to be basically on top of your toes. You got to be more focused on your surroundings a little bit more. Something like how For Honor was. Like when you're going against, you know, your other counterpart, you had to worry about, you know, his blocking, the heavy attacks, the rage meter, like, you know, all those aspects of those games. You had to focus you had to be on on your heels. You had to be focused on, okay, what is he gonna do next? I need to parry myself. I need to block myself. So that's how they kinda implicated in Assassin's Creed Origin, their new combat system. It's kinda like make you strategize what you need to do uh, to block your enemy's attack or how to attack your enemy. So you're going to be a little bit more trying to figure out which weapon is best and which weapon is that. Now we're going to have eight different types of weapons. I think the bow is going to have like four different types of weapons too. Um, so you're going to be a little bit more focused this time around than other Assassin's Creed. Uh, the, you're going to have spears, you're going to have swords, you're going to have dual swords, you're going to have bows, you're going to have everything that was pretty much the legendary weapons that ancient Egypt kind of used back in those time period. So you're going to be using those weapons that are going to be, you know, had. The bows, on the other hand, you're going to have like four different types of bows. Um, some bows are going to do with different abilities. Some bows are going to have different speeds. Now, like you said in the, in the in the video, you know, you have to worry about the range of your weapon, the speed of your weapon, the range of your enemies and their equipment speed. You gotta work. You gotta focus on everything on this aspect. So this whole new combat system is way completely different than the other ACs. Just put it in a sense. So bows, for example, can have like one bow can have like a great speed. The next bow might have a great range, or the next bow might have both, or something like that in that capability. So the new combat system is going to be a little bit different. Um, I don't know. It, it, it's a lot of people. The, the thing that gets me is like when they change these things in games. I wonder how know how the reaction of the community is going to be like. I haven't read. I've read some of the comments, but I haven't read fully details in the comments how people are reacting to this because the head thing that was a problem with Assassin's Creed, like I said earlier in the video, is their combat system. So when these game developers like Assassin, you know, Ubisoft. Uh, you know, Bungie and all these things change these things for the community because the community kind of implicate like this is a problem, it needs to be fixed. So, when you fix these problems and you know, you get the game in your hand in October and you play it, you want to know what's the person's um, reaction to the whole new combat system because. In my eyes, you can't satisfy everybody in the gaming community. I always complain about everything you can put in that sense. Now, when they kind of showcase it on E3, a lot of people were kind of like wondering what about the combat system. Like the combat system wasn't really fitting. But with the new, you know, IGN doing this for the month of, of August, showcasing Assassin's Creed, the demo of the trailer and the demo of the game is a little bit different what they showcase in E3. So... You know, you can't judge a book by its cover before the finishing product. So I want to know how this new combat system is going to be implicated with the people who was a big fan of the franchise of Assassin's Creed or gamers who want to try out the game themselves. How they're going to, what's the reaction is going to be with the new gaming, the new combat system. The combat system, like I said, it reminds me a little bit of how For Honor, you got to be on your tips and toes. You got to be really focused on your enemy and focus on how you're going to approach that enemy and what weapons you can use on the enemy. Because these enemies are going to be heavily armed. They're going to have shields. You know, some are going to have shields. Some of them are not going to have shields. You're going to have a shield yourself. But judging what he's saying in the video, it's going to be you're blocking up front. But you got to worry about your backside. So, you know, like shielding your backside might be a problem because you know how your arm can be awkwardly kind of set. So I can understand how he's trying to say like it's fitting for your front, but your backside you have to worry about that. You got to figure out how you're going to parry those attacks if you get attacked from the behind. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the new combat system in that setting. Um, 
there's gonna be a lot different. You're gonna have a blue setting, which is like the basic weapons, and then you're gonna have like the rare, which is purple, and the yellows, which is uh, legendary, like heavy clubs and all that stuff. More heavy weapons, if you wanna put it in that sense. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about it at this point. I think it's a little bit different. I think it, it's a little bit better than the time uh, animation. This more is like hitbox and positioning yourself between you and your enemy a lot more about range and speed so i kind of like it we got to see how it's going to implicate it in assassin's creed when this, the game is kind of like finished and product we just have to see how it fits let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the new combat system if there's something that was missed out of the combat system what do you need what did they need to tweak a little bit more Besides, you know, heavy and hitbox and position, all that stuff. What else uh, new combat system that they need to do that's more fitting for Assassin's Creed? My name is Hunter Gunslayer. If you guys do like these type of videos, it's always much to hit those like buttons. It's always much appreciated. And I will see you guys in my next Assassin's Creed video.